there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christina. I'm a gerontologist and founder of Busy Minds Box, a monthly activity box designed to engage the brain. And today we are gonna go through our milk bottle activity. And so if you got this as part of the February 2023 Have a Heart Box, the reason that we chose this is because typically what's good for your heart is good for your brain. And what's good for both of those things is staying hydrated. So we wanted to make a fun bottle that you are encouraged to drink enough fluids out of every day. Um, that's why it came with a little topper like this and a straw, which we'll get to at the end. Um, but we thought it was a great way to encourage you to drink enough water. If you're anything like me, you forget kind of frequently. Um, so something like this would really help me be encouraged to drink enough fluids throughout the day. So in your box, you should have received some string, a love charm, the milk bottle, a topper for the milk bottle, a straw, and some glue dots. Just a quick note, this is not an activity that you're gonna to wanna to put in the dishwasher after it's assembled. It will melt the glue. Um, and the same with washing it with really hot water. So you wanna to stick to cold to lukewarm water. The string will dry, but we wanna make sure that the glue stays intact, okay? So as always, we are going to plan out how we do this activity before we dive in. So the idea is we're gonna take our bottle and our glue dots, and we're going to apply glue dots around the bottle. And then we're gonna wind our string around the bottle, and at some point during that, we are going to feed our love charm through the string to secure it in place. And then finally, we will finish off our activity by applying the top and putting the straw inside. But we can put those to the side just for the time being, and the charm as well, since it's so small, I don't wanna lose track of that. So you're gonna take your glue dots here, and you have enough string for three glue dots worth of string. So if you wanna do it like me and do it toward the bottom, you're welcome to. You can also do it around the middle if you prefer that. Um, it is completely up to you. So my suggestion is to tear off or cut off, you can use a pair of scissors for this too, this glue is very sticky and once it's down, it's down. So to plan out how I wanna do this, I am going to stick the first set of glue dots just like that on my bottle. And I'm just gonna press down to make sure they transfer. And then we're gonna continue doing that all the way around. So another three and I'm gonna cut here. You don't have to cut, you don't have to tear, you don't even have to do this step. You could just apply the glue dots, um, but I find them so sticky to work with that I would rather apply them kind of methodically like this. But it's totally up to you. Okay, here's my next set. Now you do wanna ensure that you apply them um, in somewhat of the same area because since you're winding the string, you want the string to hit the glue all the way around and that's why we're working our way around that. Um, so next, the next three, whoops, and you could also apply the glue dots around this way if you like, but they are so close together. And the string will stick if it's spaced out a little bit like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it kind of like I'm doing it, but you are welcome to do it the other way too. Um, there are certainly enough glue dots here to last um, if you do it the other way too. So here we go. Just a couple more and then we're ready to take them off. And you don't wanna peel off the white paper just yet because then it will stick to the table and you'll have to redo it. So uh, just keep those white 
the white paper on there until we are ready to peel them all off. All right, looks like I just need one more and then I am good to go. All right, so you see that we have them pretty, pretty evenly spaced around. They're not exact. This doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. We say that all the time, right? Um, but now you just wanna stick them on, make sure that they're stuck, and then you're going to go ahead and peel those white papers off. If it sticks to the white paper, no problem. Just press it right back down and it will stick to the bottle with a little bit of pressure. But you saw how I did it where I just kind of grabbed all of them and applied a little pressure to all of them at the same time. And that seems to have worked. All right. Okay, now you see how the glue dots are all the way around. Now we're gonna stand that up and we are going to take our string a word to the wise, you would want to make sure that your string is not tangled in any way. So I'm just going to go through it just like that to make sure. Otherwise, it's kind of a pain to untangle it as you're doing the craft. So uh, you want everything to be as set up as possible for you. So I am just going to stick the edge of this string on a glue dot, the very bottom of the, an, an edge here. And now I am just going to wind my string around. And this is why it's so important to make sure that it's more or less lined up here um, to make sure that your string is sticking um, all the way around. And once we get to where we started, we're just gonna go up a layer and we're just gonna keep going around. You wanna be careful not to touch the glue dots with your other hand because they will stick to you and they lose a bit of stickiness if that happens. So you wanna make sure that you're holding the bottle at the top here, or technically the bottom. And we're just gonna keep winding this string around, hitting those glue dots with and once we're done, we are gonna go ahead and press the string down onto the, um, the glue dots here. So if you do make a mistake, you can pull it up um, and readjust. Just be careful because the threads and fibers of the string will stick to the glue dots. So if you pull them off again, it might not be quite as sticky as when you put them down. You can always add another glue dot if you need to through. All right, how are we doing here? Now you'll notice we get to an area where there is no glue dot in between. There's the little string right here from the glue dots, but there's no actual glue dot. And that's okay because there's enough of the, glue, the string that is stuck to the bottle that it won't change or move the rest of it. Once it's down, it all kind of works like a team. And then you'll reach your next glue dot shortly after that. The good thing about using these glue dots, as we do so often in our activities, is that they don't, since they're clear, they don't really show. So once the string covers the glue dot, you won't really see it. You may see it a little bit from the inside, but um, you're not really looking from the inside, you know? So uh, that's a cool feature of these glue dots. Plus they're just a little easier to use and less messy than traditional glue. Right, we're coming up on our 
our last glue dot here. We still have a lot of string to go. So at any point, at any point during all this that you decide you want that charm to be on your project, you can take it and thread it through the string and pull it on and just have it become part of your craft. Just make sure that the love part is showing. So I did mine backwards. I'm not gonna do mine just yet. I wanna do mine closer to the top, but you do wanna make sure when you thread it that your love is facing up, unless you want just the plain heart to show, which is totally up to you. But you could do that. And then as you thread it through, the charm is just part of that bottle but I'm gonna wait until we're closer to the end to do mine. But it's totally your choice. And if you're doing this, uh, you know, not at the bottom, but in the middle here, um, you might wanna do yours in the middle of your project here. So it's totally up to you what you want your final result to look like because you're the one using this. So I want you to make sure that you're doing this in a way that you like and not that I told you to. Alrighty. Now it's possible if like me, you didn't do it super tight around that you may need a couple more glue dots and that's okay. Um, looks like I still have one there, but I'm going to pause and I am going to add a glue dot, just one on the other side. push it down a little bit so it doesn't really look like a dot anymore, but I know I don't have that much string left. I just want to make sure it can stick to something. So that's always an option. You can always manipulate these dots however you want. I'm going to put my love on now. So again, make sure that's facing, let's see, up. And this twine sometimes comes a little bit apart. So if that happens to you, you can always just twist it just like this, and then it will be easier to feed your love charm through there. So here we go. My charm is on there. And at the very end, if you don't have any glue left like me, you can just cut another glue dot off and stick it on there just like that. Or I'm going to again push it down and then And it just happens to end right at my charm, which is kind of funny. But there we have it. And I'm going to tuck the little tail in and underneath the last one that we did. The last little loop that we did. And my love charm will cover that. And there we have it. Your love bottle. I think that looks wonderful. Check that out. So now what we're going to do, our very last step, and you can certainly leave it like this. If you would rather have a closed bottle, if you're putting something maybe in the refrigerator and you don't want it to spill, you can absolutely keep it like this. This is why we included this cap. But if you're gonna pour something in and drink out of it, 
you're going to attach the blue cap here with this straw cut out and then you are going to pop your straw in and there you go obviously you would fill it before you put this on but this is how your love milk bottle will look so I think this looks very cute. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for following along. Let us know if you put this together, what you thought. Um, if you post it on social media, please tag us. If you wanna send us in your pictures, we would love to see them. So I will leave the email address in the description down below. As always, thank you for joining us and have a great day. Bye.